Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to be talking about some of the main features of VM Backup by Hornet Security. This video will serve as a good introduction into the product and currently focuses on VM Backup version 9. Version 9 includes some exciting new enhancements such as ransomware protection via mutable cloud storage. But before that, let's get started with some basics. First, let's take a look at the dashboard. The dashboard is your one-stop shop when it comes to looking at the current state of your backup operations. This screen can show you backup storage metrics, deduplication and compression statistics, a list of recent operation with completion status, and also a section here that shows you currently active jobs as well as future operations. With that all said, one common question we get is, how do you get started if you've just installed the application for the first time? Well, you won't see the prompts here because this is an established environment, but on startup with a fresh install, the application will guide you through quickly setting up your first backup. The first area you'll be directed to is the host view. Here, you'll add the Hyper-V or VMware hosts and clusters into your environment to the host lists by using a simple wizard. Once your hosts are added, you'll be directed to the backup locations view. Here, you'll be given the option of selecting the local, on-premises, and off-site storage locations that you would like to use for storing your backups. As you can see, VM Backup by Hornet Security offers an entire array of different options. For local options, you can use a physical drive, eSATA, an iSCSI target, or network paths. Similarly, for off-site storage, you can choose from a number of different options, including cloud-hosted storage and other off-site options. Once your backup locations are defined, you can assign VMs in the left-hand tree to your target backup location simply by clicking and dragging the VM, host, or cluster object in question to the relevant storage location on the right-hand side. Once done, don't forget to save your changes. Finally, the only other step needed is to start your first backup. To do that, you head to the Backups view. Select the VMs you'd like to backup and click Take Backup. From here, you can monitor your backup job on the dashboard. The newest feature in VM Backup by Hornet Security is ransomware protection via immutable cloud storage. This solution utilizes the immutability functions in either Amazon S3, Wasabi Cloud Storage, or Azure Storage accounts. Once a backup has been written to an immutable offsite location, it essentially becomes tamper-proof and cannot be modified or deleted by any user including administrators or root users. To enable this feature, you add a new offsite location in the backup locations view, much like we did in the previous step. You'll be able to give the option to select an immutable offsite location, including a length of time and days that you would like the backups to remain immutable for. Once set up, you can see the immutable offsite storage in the list, and you can then start assigning VMs to this location, ultimately providing your backups and your organization an extra layer of security. Next on our list of features to talk about is replication. In addition to normal offsite backups with VM backup, you can also run offsite replication as often as every five minutes. This really fits that disaster recovery requirement for many organizations. This feature is enabled by having a VM backup offsite server running at your DR location. This can either be running on a virtualization host, if running Hyper-V, or alongside another virtualization host at the DR location. Replication is then enabled between this offsite location and your main site via the replication section of the control panel. Replication jobs can then be monitored on the dashboard, just like a backup job. Now, backup is the easy part, but recovery is where you really need options. VM Backup by Hornet Security offers a number of different recovery options. For example, you could recover an entire virtual machine, a particular virtual disk, or we also have granular restoration options as well. This includes file level as well as granular restores for exchange servers running on-premises. You'll also see boot from backup mentioned here as well, which I'll get into in a little bit more detail here shortly. For the sake of time, for now, let's focus on file granular restore. In order to conduct a file granular restore, open the restore menu in the left-hand pane, and then select file granular restore. At this point, a simple wizard will walk you through the process, starting with the selection of a restoration source. Once selected, you'll need to choose which virtual machine you'd like to recover from. 
At this stage in the wizard, the application will query all the different backups associated with the selected virtual machine and allow you to choose which backup version you'd like to use for this recovery job. From there, you'll be presented with a familiar disk and folder view. Simply browse and select the files you'd like to recover, then click next. Here you're presented with a few different options in terms of where to recover the files to. You can recover to a local directory on the machine running VM backup, or you can extract the files to a network location. Simply click extract to begin the restoration process. The next thing we'll discuss is the boot from backup restoration option. The problem with some recovery jobs is time. If the workload you're trying to recover is particularly large, you may be looking at hours upon hours of recovery time. This is time that your end users and organization may not be productive, so this is where Boot from Backup really shines. Boot from Backup facilitates a storage connection from the backup storage to the hypervisor. This allows you to boot a virtual machine and run it from the backup storage. While the VM is running in this way, a recovery job is started and running in the background, and the application is capturing all the new writes that are coming into the boot from backup version of that virtual machine. Once the recovery job is done, the administrator defines a period of time to shut down that boot from backup version of the VM, and the VM recovery is then finalized. At this point, the writes that were captured during the boot from backup process, they are then committed to disk, you start up the VM, and away you go. Like the file granular restore process we just saw, this whole process is wizard driven and walks you through a similar process. This is just one more powerful recovery feature that VM Backup by Hornet Security can bring to your business. Now, everything you've seen thus far has been through the on-premises management console. Many of the great features you've seen in this demo can also be managed via the Hornet Security Control Panel, which is accessible at cp.hornetsecurity.com. This web-based portal is your single pane of glass management tool for managing all of the amazing services that Hornet Security has to offer, including VM Backup. Once logged into the Control Panel, you can access VM Backup by selecting the proper scope in the top right, expanding backup in the left-hand pane, and then selecting VM backup. Here you can monitor and conduct backup operations, as well as pull reports, manage replication, and see subscription billing information as well. Note that this tool was designed with multi-tenancy in mind. In the event you have multiple instances of VM backup by Hornet Security that your organization manages, you can do so from this control panel. And this also applies to MSPs and resellers as well. But those organizations, they have to manage a multitude of different customers, and this tool will help you get that job done. It's also worth noting that with all Hornet security products, help is never far away. Access to support is built into both the on-premises management console for VM backup, as well as the web-based control panel. For example, to access support in the online control panel, simply select Get Help in the left-hand tree, and you'll be taken to the support site. Here you can see all our different contact methods, including live chat. If you're interested in learning more, and you'd like to try VM Backup by Hornet Security within your own organization, you can simply go to hornetsecurity.com and select VM Backup under the Services dropdown. Additionally, if interested, you can email sales at hornetsecurity.com for more information. Thanks for watching.